I feel like I'm contemplating my world problems. <laughs> but it really is just figuring out what I'm going to do with a massive aquarium. Should it be one large one? Or should I break it up into a couple of large ones? Just not as massive. So this video is going to get in the brain of what I'm dealing with, which is first world problems, and ultimately ask you what you think so I can go through the comments and get a better understanding of what I should really do instead of just what is trapped inside my mind. Keep in mind, I'm going to flip-flop through this video. My brain works very, very differently than most others. And I want to be able to select the right aquarium or right aquariums to suit my universal needs, not just today, but five years from now. In any African cichlid species or any species of fish that I would keep. Keep in mind, I would never keep an arowana, a red-tailed catfish, or rays because it's, well, it's just not something that I would, I want to do. Other people can do that amazing, but <laughs> not me. I'm an African cichlid guy, so let's stay with African cichlids. Okay, it's the morning. We all have problems. What coffee do we want? Do we want to look at our fish before we go to work? Well, I can look at my fish before I go to work. Not yet, anyways. But this is more of a question for you. What would you do? Okay, I think I want two tanks in that room instead of one. I haven't talked to the wife yet about it, but I'm running through a dilemma. I like to keep a variety of fish, and since I'm going to be diving into Lake Tanganyika a lot more, I thought two tanks would be better than one. This does mean, however, that I probably won't get as massive as a tank against that one wall. And I'll show you here in a few moments what I'm talking about. Maybe you guys can help me out. This is serious. Like I'm, I'm literally dealing with this in my mind where I was all in on the aquarium. I was almost finished. And then I said, wait a minute. What about two? <laughs> One of the larger components to the reason why I want to do this is because I want to keep multiple fish. Especially Lake Tanganyika. It's very vast. It's very deep. And all of the fish seem to be different. And they're all different shapes, colors, and sizes, and I want to be a part of that in my own way. And I can't do that in just one aquarium, at least not that size. <sighs> so the idea in this head is to have a massive, massive aquarium against the wall, and it was only going to be one. Like that, but glass. But then I thought, well, maybe I can have two. And ideally, that works in most settings. There are adjacent walls which you'll see in a second and I said well what if I just did a 10 foot tank and I didn't go as tall and I didn't go as deep and then I did a six foot tank across the way I get the best of both worlds 16 total feet and the ability to keep a lot of different fish especially as I continue to progress maybe even breed but I have my own reservations I don't want to be too skinny I don't want it to be too tall and I sure as heck want it to be long enough this is a dilemma. I need your help. But one of the major benefits that I do have is that I work in a place where we make custom aquariums. So I have the ability to decide on what I want to do. Do I want to do that standard, narrow aquarium? Do I want to go shorter or much fatter? Or do I just want to get crazy and put something in the wall where it's much taller and skinnier, but that's not going to do exactly what I wanted to do. I have to make a decision that is going to be for a while. And whether it has to do with the width, the length, or the height of the aquarium, I have to make sure that I do my best to universally select something that will work for a multitude of different species at any time. Maybe subspecies, or just African cichlids in general. So that's why I'm asking for your help.
So now you can see what I'm talking about. One tank, which would be back here, all the way to that wall. We were thinking 12 foot, maybe 32 inches by 48 inches tall. But if I go and do uh, here to there, and I'll show you here in a moment, bingo. So there to there is about seven foot. So ideally, I can have a six foot tank there easy. Maybe a 72 by 24 by 27 or 30. That would be pretty sweet. And then I'd have the one that I'm really excited about, the large one. But this gives me the ability to switch it up. But I, this is what's in my head. I don't understand it. I fight myself. That's probably why it's taken so long up to this point, amongst other details. But what would you do? Would you do two? Would you do one? Would you just do the massive one? Or would you just do the six foot one? If you had the space. The unique part is, of where I work, it makes it slightly more addicting to get larger tanks. Okay, I appreciate you watching. Remember, do something nice for somebody. Seriously, something nice. Anything, hold a door, smile at somebody. You know what's next. Aha!